Today I'm going to show you 7 fun and easy braided hairstyles to keep you looking super cute for all of your summer activities. I'll show you a great hairstyle for the last day of school. Next I'll show you this casual yet sophisticated hairstyle perfect for all of those summer shopping sprees. Then I'll show you a cute messy look great for taking on those fun summer carnivals and amusement parks. Next there's this romantic braided hairstyle that's perfect for a date with your summer love. And this classic fishtail braid's great for your summer job, especially if you're going to get wet. And this summer party look is elegant yet has a casual vibe to it. And this simple braided hairstyle really allows you to let your hair down for those girls night outs. To begin, look in the mirror and smile at yourself like I'm doing right now. Good! You're good at this. Why are you watching this tutorial anyway? I'm just kidding, really. Okay, so first we must prepare our hair for braiding. So step one, brush that rat nest out. We can't have tangled weave when we're trying to weave. Oh my gosh, you're already done with step one. It's complete. You're almost there. So step two, apply a frizz serum or your favorite hair sculpting wax. And this will decrease the chances of tangles, plus it'll help mold your hair into place when you are braiding it. So I just took some of my Garnier Fruity Smoothing Milk and I ran it all through my hair. Yay, we're ready to braid! Step three, get those digits ready to exercise. Let's get started. Ding, 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 ding. Last day of school, yay! It's a chubby Dutch braid, a chubby Dutch braid, eight, eight, eight. Okay, so the last day of school is extremely important and you definitely want to make a lasting impression. So this really cute side chunky Dutch braid is really going to make everyone remember you. Okay, so we're back to brushing our hair again, but this time what I'm doing is I brushed all of my hair over to one side. You can choose whichever side you want to brush it to. And as you can see, I'm taking two pieces of hair and I put my index finger under the middle piece and then with my right hand, I grab the third piece. And this just keeps the section separated without tangling. So what I did was I took the section that was in my right hand and I moved it underneath the middle section of hair, grabbing it with my left hand. A Dutch braid is pretty much a French braid in reverse. So instead of going over the middle piece, you go under the middle piece. So that just started the braid off. So the next step is you take an outer section of hair and then you gather a little bit more hair into that outer section and then place it underneath the middle section of hair, grabbing it with the other hand. If that makes any sense, if you have trouble understanding my instructions, just watch how I do it and I show you everything. And because I'm so extremely talented at braiding, I was already finished with the braid by the time I was finished explaining it to you. So of course, I just secured it at the end with a rubber band. So the next thing you wanna do is start tugging on the outer sections of the braid. And what this is gonna do is it's just gonna make your braid look so much more defined and chubby and just fatter and bigger. And I know that's really rude to say that my braid's gonna be fatter, so I'm just gonna say it'll make it look big boned, yeah. Okay, so next I just took a teasing comb and I'm lifting the front section and the back section of my hair up because sometimes I like a little volume when I have braids because braids tend to flatten my hair out a lot and I really love a lot of volume, so I would definitely recommend this if you want volume. So after you're finished voluminizing your hair, we're finished with the braid and now it's time to add some hair treasures to our hair. So I'm just taking one of my favorite headbands and putting it on top of my head. And that's pretty much all for this look. And I hope you liked it and I hope you have fun wearing it to school. Make all them people remember you. Critter kisses. Like, do you want to go shopping? Let's go shopping. Let's go on a fun summer shopping trip. Oh my gosh. But wait, before we go, let's put our hair in a Dutch braid ponytail like. All right then. So this Dutch braid ponytail is perfect for a shopping day with your friends. And it's sophisticated yet casually chic. So what I did was I unbraided the bottom half of my chubby Dutch braid and I'm putting it into a regular side ponytail. So to achieve this look from the beginning, just repeat the chubby Dutch braid steps, but stop braiding at the nape of your neck and secure it with a ponytail ring. And then I just pin back my bangs with a bobby pin. And then the fun part, and that's adding any of your favorite headbands to this look. And then using a teasing comb, I just lifted the hair up at the crown of my head and that completed this look. Have fun shopping. Oh, no, I ain't going on that zipper, so you can just zip your lip. Give me a popcorn, a candy corn, a corn dog, candy apple, and a fried turkey leg. I'm hungry. 
So you already know from the get-go that your hair is going to be a mess if you're going to any amusement park. So why not pre-messify it with this elegant yet chaotic hairstyle? Alright, so as you can see, I still have my hair in the ponytail and the Dutch braid. So what I did was I twisted the ponytail and then I wrapped it around the ponytail ring. And then I'm just tugging at the bun that I've made and then securing it with bobby pins all the way around. And what this does is it makes a really messy look, but yet it's really secured. So that way it won't come out of place, even if you're going on the big roller coasters all the way up to a merry-go-round. Or should I say down to a merry-go-round? Yeah. And then what I did was I took a cute little headband and I put it on my head just to add a little extra elegance. But I don't know if I'd recommend that if you're going on a crazy roller coaster. But I would recommend bobby pinning it down. Have fun! It's a romantic evening at the movies. And I just made that up. Those dreamy, magical date nights out with your summer love is really going to require some work, girl. So I'm going to teach you how to turn your hair into a real live mermaid. Okay, so obviously that's impossible. Let's just say that your significant other won't be able to keep their eyes off you. All right, so after taking my hair out of the messy bun, I split my ponytail in two sections and I put one section in a pony ring to keep it separate from the other. And then I just began backwards braiding the one section and then I repeated the same exact steps on the other section. And then you just want to secure them both with a ponytail. And then taking one of the braids, you just want to begin by tugging only the outer sections of the braid. And you want to do the same exact thing on the other braid. And what this is going to do is going to create a really, really awesome effect. Because when you put both of these braids together, it's going to sort of mimic like a heart shape. And that's what makes the mermaid effect. So what I did was I took a ponytail ring and I secured them both together. And then taking several bobby pins, I just pinned the braids together from the back. And be sure and get some bobby pins that are close to your hair color so this way they don't really show that much. And that's pretty much all for this braid. And what I did was I took this big poofy flower and I put it in between the Dutch braid and the mermaid braid to sort of split them up and make a really cool effect. So that's all for this look. Have a romantic summer. Money, 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 money! Dutch fishtail braid. Bloop, 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 bloop. It just reminds me of fishes when I do this braid. So this Dutch fishtail braid is perfect for your summer job, especially if you're going to be working in or around water because either way, if it gets wet, it doesn't matter because it still looks awesome and you'll always look like a fishy. So as you can see, I still have my hair Dutch braided at the top and then I have it in the ponytail at the bottom. So now I'm going to start by fishtailing the ponytail section. And if you don't know how to fish braid, well, let me tell you, that's what I'm here for. What you want to do is you want to divide the ponytail into two sections, whether it's a ponytail or your regular hair. Divide it into two sections, preferably very even sections. And what you do is you take a piece of hair from the outer part of the right section and you move it over to the left section. Then you take a piece of hair from the outer part of the left section and you move it over to the right section. It gets easier with practice. So what I'm doing is I'm just tugging at the fishtail braid to give it a little bit more volume and make it thicker and flatter. Then once again taking my favorite headband, I just put that on and I pulled a few tendrils down just for an extra messy look. And that's all for this fishy braid! So the summer party look is really elegant, yet it has a casual slash boho vibe to it. And it's really great for a party because it's somewhat sophisticated, but yet you can still swing your hair around and party. So I just brushed my ponytail out a little bit and I still have my Dutch braid at the top of my head. And using my Bain de Terre Thermal Iron Protector, I just sprayed this on my ponytail and then using my Baby Bliss Tourmaline Ceramic Curling Iron, which is a one inch curling iron. I'm just going to begin by curling small sections of the ponytail. And this curling iron is actually from FlatIronExperts.com and I've used several of their products before. And let me just say that these are the most amazing products I've ever used. And I have really, really stubborn hair. So when it comes to curling irons or flat irons, 
they have the best and they work on my stubborn hair so as you can see I pulled some pieces down from the sides of my head and at the top and I'm just curling those as well and I'm actually curling the top piece up a little bit so that way it'll fall in a special certain kind of way that I like and I'm almost done curling all of my little hairs and I just think this look is so cute and just party like and then I just took a teasing comb to lift the hair at the crown of my head and then taking one of my favorite headbands I just put this on for a little extra frou-frou-ness and extra partiness party gear and that's all for this party look have fun it's a girl's night out uh, uh, uh. it's a girl's night out mini dutch braid oh yeah okay so this hairstyle here is perfect if you're going out with the girls at night and you just want to let your hair down but yet have a small tiny piece of elegance to your hairstyle this is the hairstyle for you so what i did is i just took my hair down completely and to pretty much achieve this look all you have to do is just dutch braid the small section of your hair by your forehead and just braid it down to your ear and then secure it with a ponytail ring and next taking the same one inch curling iron from flatironexperts.com i'm just going to start by curling all of the rest of my hair and this is going to give you that extra elegance and party like look to go out with the girls of course and then i just took one of my favorite headbands and i put it on my head and voila that's all for this look it's simple yet perfect for a night out can I get a hot dog, coon dog, chicken hawk, grand hawk, hee haw, horse on a hot summer day? Can I get some popcorn, foghorn, leg corn, blade on a rainy summer day? Can I get a pickle pie, tickle thigh, happy guy, frog guy just to put on my plate? I'm a hungry little southerner that got all day to write the songs that don't make any sense. That'll make you giggle all day, all day, all day. Yeah. Please subscribe to become a official glitter critter. And don't forget to have me on Facebook and Twitter. Yeah, hungry southerner.